Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and uh, people today I'm going to show you how to uh, create your own custom context menu. Now what exactly is context menu? Uh, th that's the first thing that we'll be doing and the second thing uh, we'll be doing is uh, we'll see how through the context menu we can exit uh, or enter the full screen mode. Uh, now the default is uh, whenever you're working with a Swift file that the state size is normal okay there's a way you can actually enter the full screen mode and uh, so I decided that we will be using that custom uh, context menu the menu that is available when you right click the uh, Swift file uh, it will actually allow us to enter or exit uh, the uh, full screen mode so we'll look at both these uh, guys first let me hit control enter straight away to show you a published preview so here goes control enter right now as you can see when I right click I get uh, this context menu and it says go full screen exit full screen developed by that's my name my uh, website my email address and a few more options right <coughs> excuse me so this is the uh, context menu that I was talking about but does it actually look like the uh, context menu that you usually see no it doesn't we don't have this go full screen exit full screen options neither do we have these options right developed by Mohit Manuja or the email address yes we do have the some options uh, options out here below but uh, for sure it's a custom uh, context menu and uh, let's say uh, I would want to go full screen or exit full screen but uh, when you want to uh, achieve the full screen or exit the full screen you're not able to do it inside the flash what you need to do is you need to first publish the uh, Swift file so let's publish it out right after saving it inside a folder and only if, uh, you can test the, the uh, published Swift file so this is where it actually got published right so let me open it up for you right people as you can see uh, the same context menu is now available but uh, now I can go full screen like this or I can exit the full screen like this so if you really want to test it either you can test it inside the browser when you take this uh, Swift file inside an HTML file or else uh, you can uh, you know check it right here but only the published Swift file there's no other way to, you can't test it inside the um, flash interface uh, basically uh, when I say you can't test it I mean you cannot um, exit and uh, achieve the full uh, screen uh, mode <coughs> right so uh, let's see uh, how this uh, context menu was achieved how were the you know the uh, items that a, a, a context menu has some, some of them uh, were actually hidden okay and our own custom items were actually added right and how we uh, you know switch between the full screen and the normal screen mode so we'll look at all that uh, let's open up the uh, actions panel now here's the actions panel for you people okay now everything that is happening out here was done entirely through the action strip right uh, as you can have a look out here we just have two layers the topmost layer is the action strip three layer holding the uh, action script and this is the other layer which is uh, holding this uh, text field which is actually a classic static text field with this color with this font with this uh, you know this is the font family and I've embedded the font so that just in case the uh, user does not have this font the viewer does not have this font he'll still be able to see and use the font so what you need to do is you need to embed the uppercase lowercase numerals and punctuations uh, copy this name of Rima out here and say okay right that will embed the font and uh, then the font will be available in the library like this right I don't need this symbol I must have created the symbol white testing for this file right so let me save the file up once again right so let's understand the script people how and uh, you know how the script actually works right okay cool uh, let's see what uh, really happens in line number one we create a variable cm and data type it to a context menu make it equal to a new context menu basically creating a new instance of the context menu class in which we'll be adding um, items our own items and then uh, I add an event listener to the uh, context menu the uh, event is a context menu event 
and specifically of the type menu select so this event context menu event is going to fire when somebody right clicks and selects the menu right i would want a function called menu handler to be executed but we'll come back to that function a little later uh, let's understand line number three first the moment i say uh, cm dot hide uh, inbuilt item you see every context menu has an inbuilt items and simply by using the hide built-in items uh, items method i'm able to hide it let's say um, i was not uh, gonna hide it let's see what happens then if i were to let's say uh, you know block it out for the moment and if i were to test now say control enter to test let me right click you can actually see that zoom in zoom out 100 uh, percent and some other um, items are showing up out here which were not showing up earlier right <coughs> so since we uh, want to learn how to create our own custom um, context menu i would need the built-in items to be hidden through the uh, hide built-in items method right okay uh, let's forge ahead and see uh, what's next okay uh, next people now that uh, we have hidden the uh, built-in items uh, we are able to add our items now okay and uh, let's see how we actually do that we create four variables full screen exit full screen uh, developer and mail right uh, we data type them to context menu items and uh, make them equal to uh, new context menu items and then we label them these labels are actually uh, gonna appear when you right click you know these options go full screen exit full screen uh, this and this label is gonna actually appear when you right click right so these uh, are all uh, custom uh, context menu items let me show it to you again right click uh, sorry uh, control enter and as you can see these were the custom items go full uh, or the custom labels exit full screen go full screen uh, this and this right so they appear uh, with the help of uh, these four variables full screen exit full screen developer mail right you see a context menu is just like an array and you can push these uh, variables inside that array so uh, we do that out here in line number 13 so what we do is these four variables that are actually holding these values go full screen exit full screen developed by Mohit Manoja and uh, the email address uh, we can uh, push the uh, you know these variables inside this array or these values inside this array using the push method okay just the way we actually work with arrays uh, context menus are uh, you know th th they work just like that so we 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 feed in uh, these four variables full screen exit screen uh, developer and mail and in doing so people we actually have a context menu ready uh, with these four values available okay and the way to do uh, that is uh, context you just should use the reserved word context menu and make it equal to cm cm is uh, if you remember people uh, uh, a new instance of the uh, context menu class okay so this uh, single line will uh, get your uh, context menu ready with all these items pushed in okay now let's discuss line number 11 now uh, I'm saying that uh, before the entry developer, I would want a separator. Basically, we'll draw a very thin horizontal stroke above this item. So, notice uh, when I right click and bring up the context menu, you should be able to see a very thin uh, stroke uh, before uh, developer. That's that's my name. So, you'll be able to see it. Let me show it to you once again. Hit Control Enter on the keyboard. Right click, and as you can see, this is the thin, you know, the thin line of the thin stroke that I was talking about. That's my name. That's the website. Okay, so that's the uh, separator. So you can have the separator where, wherever you want using the uh, separator before uh, property, right? And setting it to true. <coughs> right. Uh, next, people, what I do is I add event listeners to full screen and exit full screen. So, what is full screen and exit full screen? Uh, this variable is full screen and this variable is exit full screen which hold the uh, you know the labels or the values go full screen exit full screen we add uh, event listeners to both these variables and then um, you can see the event is a context menu event specifically of the type menu item select so when somebody actually uh, 
selects uh, any one of the menu items I would want that uh, I'm sorry right uh, I would want uh, two functions to be executed go full screen and exit full screen please have a look out here people this exit full screen and this variable exit full screen out here uh, there's a difference the F in the full is capital out here and it's small out here you need to make sure that this different does exist very important otherwise you'll pull up a compiler error never mind let's uh, move ahead so let's first see what are inside these functions uh, go full screen and exit full screen right so when somebody selects the uh, menu item go full screen right uh, this function should be executed when he or she selects uh, the option exit full screen this is the function that needs to be executed let's understand this uh, uh, function go full screen first so that's the function go full screen and uh, it's a context menu event okay since it does not calculate and return a value we have a void out here colon void and there's one single line that's deciding whether the state should be shown uh, as in the full screen mode or in the normal mode so I'm saying out here this the display state of the stage should be set to a full screen and if the function exit full screen is executed again it's a context menu event um, the stage should be displayed in the normal mode so the original size which is 550 by 400 right okay now uh, let's talk about this function menu handler which was called upon um, which was called upon here in line number two so we've added an event listener to the context menu uh, the, it's a context menu event and uh, so whenever uh, somebody right clicks and selects the menu okay this function menu handler is supposed to be run and let's uh, check this out what exactly this is okay uh, next up people let's discuss uh, this function uh, menu handler so whenever somebody right clicks and um, activates the menu this is the function that's gonna fire and um, inside the function we have an F conditional okay uh, we actually check if the uh, the displayed state of the stage is uh, the normal state there are two ways to write this either you can write it this way which is a lot simpler way or you can write it in this way okay it's a little long winded way of writing but it basically line number 29 uh, and whatever I've highlighted out here inside the parents uh, means just the same thing so if the stage is displayed in the normal state the original size okay we would want the first item of the context menu okay and the second item of the context menu which uh, see we are saying out here event.target event.target is nothing but the context menu people the custom items are, are actually the items that we pushed in at index number zero so if you remember uh, this uh, value appears at index number zero this appears at index number one this at two and this at three so I'm saying uh, <coughs> that the value at index uh, zero which is the first uh, which is the first um, uh, item which is go full screen should be set to true the second one which is exit full screen should be set to false right else if uh, the displayed state is not normal if it's actually a full screen then reverse that so basically uh, the go full screen will be uh, disabled so uh, enabled is equal to false and uh, the second item which is exit full screen should be enabled right that is why you see sometimes uh, the the uh, you know go full screen is uh, active sometimes the exit full screen is active so that's all that this function does right now people let me tell you that you'll not be able to test the uh, 
the full screen uh, and the normal screen inside the flash interface you need to publish the swift file as i've mentioned earlier as well and then only can you test it and uh, if you were to embed your uh, flash swift inside the html page then you'll need to include the parameter allow full screen and set the value to true so something like uh, param name is equal to allow full screen value is equal to true okay and then and only then will it be functional inside an html page or a document right so you just need to uh, remember this right so before i wind uh, this tutorial people let me save it it's already saved so let's let's take a preview once again so this is the published swift file let me double click right let me right click and as you can see the exit full mode is not active this option is not active but the go full screen option is active let me go full screen and here we are now let me exit the full screen right okay very cool people uh, just would like to tell you that we have added four custom uh, context menu items uh, you can add many more or you can remove some of them that's entirely your choice so people in this tutorial we've actually seen uh, how we can develop our own uh, context menu with custom context menu items right how we can control the values of the labels of the context menu items right and we, we also see that how we can uh, toggle between the full screen mode and the normal screen mode which can be written in two ways this is uh, one of the ways okay uh, to write it uh, we can also write it in a different uh, way which is uh, this right uh, they both mean one and the same thing people right and just in case if some of you may want to start with the full screen mode upfront what you need to do is you, you can copy this line and paste it right as, as line number one of the uh, actions panel and then uh, everything will start off uh, up front with the full screen mode and then you'll be able to toggle between the full screen and the normal screen all right <coughs> so people i hope you learned a lot from this tutorial uh, enjoyed it and uh, we'll keep coming back for more you have a good day guys bye, -bye. peace